Welcome to another episode of Philosopher Stone Nostalgia Trip. I am the Philosopher, and I am stoned. Guys, Super Mario Bros. 3. You can tell me that Super Mario World is better, and I'll probably agree with you to an extent, but I, I just love that game so much more. And it probably helps that it was one of the first video games I ever played. It also probably helps that I was three when I started playing it. I have a lot of fond memories of trying to beat it by myself, with my brother, with my mom, with my father, who I don't associate with anymore, but it was still fun trying to beat that game with him. My cousins, Mikey and Kyle, I have no idea if they even fucking watch this show. Um, and I was trying to do a playthrough of it with my friend Sleepy Wolf. I don't know if we ever finished it. I think we didn't. I'll have to get back to him on that, but moreover... Super Mario Bros. 3, god, that game was so fun. I remember the first time someone showed me that if you sit on a white tile for long enough, crouch down, that you go through the backgrounds, I was like, holy shit, whoa. Well, I wasn't like, holy shit, I was a 3, so I probably didn't even know what the word shit was. If I did, then I knew it was a bad word by that point. Um, but uh, mind-blowing, you know? And... Um, I always loved when I got three of the same card. Like I know that that's like something you're supposed to love because it gives you a butt ton of lives, especially if you get the star. But I I just liked that the fireworks would shoot up and blow up in the shape of the card you got. I was like, whoa, that's really freaking cool, man. And I also really liked finding the warp whistles. I don't like doing it now. I feel like it's cheating the game out of the... It also cheats the player out of the experience of beating the game. But um, that doesn't stop me from saving a P-Wing for when I go up against Bowser. That's that's a tradition that I will never break. You can't make me. <laughs> oh, but man. I know just about every secret in that game. I've beaten it time and time again with and without the warp whistles, and god, that game is just so good. And I feel like it, Nintendo's always had kind of a, a good balance for their difficulty curve in their games, I think, but Super Mario 3, I feel like, just elevates it gradually enough to where the player should never come to a point where they just can't get past something like yeah you'll die like you could die a hundred times get a game over keep trying um i i totally understand that vibe that game has some seriously hard jumps but i feel like there's never or at least should never be a point where you're playing the game and you're like thinking to yourself holy shit this is way too hard i can't do this that you i feel like it's got that perfect positioning of like oh this isn't much harder than the last thing that I did, and you just go for it, you know? I know that the uh, themes for the worlds is kind of like cut and dry Mario formula at this point, but back then, it was the first time we saw Mario in, like, changing environments like that. Well, I guess Super Mario 2, but that's Doki Doki Panic, Super Mario Bros. 2, the Japanese version is that yeah, everybody knows this story. Um, but what's crazy is that Super Mario 3 runs on the same engine as Super Mario Bros. 1. Like, everything that can be done technical-wise, making Super Mario Bros. 1 is, is all the same technology that was required for Super Mario Bros. 3. Like, that's interesting. You know? A little, little bit, bit of tidbit of information that otherwise might go unnoticed. Um... I also like that if you're in two-player mode and you jump on the tile that your other player is on, you can start this mini game that's like Super Mar that's like Mario Bros. The not Super, the old arcade game, and like battle for whoever gets to go first. I used to troll my brother <laughs> by every time it was my it was his turn. If he would step over the tile that I was on to get to the next level, I would immediately press A just just to fuck with him. Because I was better at the minigames, and so I would always get the next turn. 
I don't I don't I wouldn't blame him if he hates me for that. I also don't think that he watches this show though, so I'm pretty sure I'm safe on that. Um but uh yeah, that was also the introduction of the Tanuki Leaf. It w- it was my introduction to the concept of a power up and the first power up I ever got in a video game was the ability to fly. Can you believe that? <laughs> I mean, I couldn't. But um yeah, there that that game doesn't have like it, it's not perfect. I would argue that the water world is in every video game a terrible idea, but you, you know, you can I I can totally see why the water world would be a point where you're like, "Man, I just I don't want to do it." Use that warp whistle, skip world four while you're at it, um, and go straight on to five or six or seven. Yeah, I get, I get that, I get that vibe a lot. But um, there, there's tons of power ups over there in that little corner that's shaped like Japan. So if you, if you just bear through it, keep your teeth gritted, you, you, you get past it, you get, you get a bunch of goodies. It's all good, and then you, you're totally set to take on the next world like a champ too um and i i loved fighting the hammer bros that were on the map and when i was a little kid i thought that they were camels <laughs> if you could believe that i thought that they were camels the ones that were on the overworld that sprite and then when i would get into the fight i never made the connection that they the turtles that were throwing the hammers or the boomerangs or the fireballs that they were not that they were the same dudes man i tell ya i i also get really really mad when i get 24 240,000 points or it, i think it's increments of 80 no i think it's increments of 800,000 or maybe it's 8 million uh, you get that mini game. I hated it when I would get that mini game, and then someone else that I was playing with would take that mini game away from me. It, it just, I, 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 I want to strangle them so bad. But um, yeah, Super Mario Bros. Three, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. I highly recommend playing it. I, I highly recommend playing the Super Mario Bros. Three version. That is the NES version over the Super Mario All-Stars one. I know that All-Stars technically has the better graphics, but I, I don't know. I feel like aesthetically, the Super Mario Bros. 3 one is more appealing. Maybe it's my nostalgia talking. Maybe it's personal preference, but I, I don't know. I just didn't care for the Super Mario All-Stars palette very much. I mean, Super Mario World, yeah, I love Super Mario World, but... <laughs> This, that that's supposed to be 16-bit looking. I, I I don't know. I just I I guess this has been an episode of Philosopher Stone. I am the philosopher, and I am stone. Take care. Enjoy your the rest of your day.